Hey, it's Doug Perry, and I am a realtor with Property Consultants in Bucktown. And today on Logan Square and West Town Homes Live, I'm going to present seven smart strategies for bathroom remodeling. Here's how to get the bathroom of your dreams without making your budget a nightmare. Uh, this article is presented or made possible by realtors. Uh, you dream about a bathroom that's high in comfort and personal style, but you also want materials, fixtures, and amenities with lasting value. Wake up. You can have both. A mid-range bathroom remodel is a solid investment according to the Remodeling Impact Report from the National Association of Realtors. A bath remodel with a national median cost of $30,000 will recover about 50% of those costs when it's time to sell your home. Regardless of payback potential, you'll probably be glad you went ahead and updated your bathroom. Homeowners polled for the report gave their bathroom renovation a joy score of 9.6. That's a rating based on those who said they were happy or satisfied with their project, with 10 being the highest rating and 1 the lowest. So, number one, stick to a plan. A bathroom model is no place for improvisation. Before ripping out the first tile, think hard about how will you, you will use the space, what materials and fixtures you want, and how much you're willing to spend. The National Kitchen and Bath Association recommends spending up to six months evaluating and planning before beginning work. That way you have a roadmap that will guide decisions, even the ones made under remodeling stress. Once work has begun, a process that averages two to three months, resist changing your mind. Work stoppages and alterations add costs. Some contractors include clauses in their contracts that specify premium prices for changing original plans. If planning isn't your strong suit, hire a designer. In addition to adding style and efficiency, a professional designer makes sure contractors and installers are scheduled in an orderly fashion. A pro charges $100 to $200 per hour and spends 10 to 30 hours on a bathroom project. Number two, keep the same footprint. You can afford that Italian tile you'll love if you can live with the total square footage you already have. Keeping the same footprint and locating new plumbing fixtures near existing plumbing pipes saves demolition and reconstruction dollars. You'll also cut down on the dust and debris that make remodeling so hard to live with. Make the most of the space you have. Glass doors on showers and tubs open up the area. A pedestal sink takes up less room than a vanity. If you miss the storage, replace a mirror with a deep medicine cabinet. Number three, make lighting a priority. Multiple shower heads and radiant heat floors are fabulous adds to a bathroom remodel. But few items make a bathroom more satisfying than lighting designed for everyday grooming. You can install lighting for a fraction of the cost of pricier amenities. Well-designed bathroom task lighting surrounds vanity mirrors and eliminates shadows on faces. You look better already. The scheme includes two ceiling or soffit mounted fixtures and side fixtures or sconces distributed vertically across 24 inches to account for people of various heights. Four bulb lighting fixtures work well for side lighting. Today, shopping for bulbs means paying attention to lumens, the amount of light you get from a bulb. In other words, brightness. For these bathroom task areas, the Lighting Research Center recommends toilet, 45 lumens, sink, 450 lumens, vanity, 1,680 lumens. Number four, clean the air. Bathroom ventilation systems may be out of sight, but they shouldn't be out of mind during your bathroom remodel. Bathroom ventilation is essentially for removing excess humidity that fogs mirrors, makes bathroom floors slippery, and contribute to the growth of mildew and mold. Controlling mold and, and humidity is especially important for maintaining healthy indoor air quality and protecting the value of your home. Ro mold remediation is expensive, and excess humidity can damage cabinets and painted finishes. A bathroom vent and water closet fan should exhaust air to the outside, not simply to the space between ceiling joists. Better models have whisper quiet exhaust fans and humidity controlled switches that activate when a sensor detects excess moisture in the air. Five, think storage. Bathroom storage is a challenge. By the time you've installed the toilet, shower, and sink, there's often little space left to store towels, toilet paper, and hair and body products. Here are some ways to find storage in hidden spaces. Think vertically. 
Upper wall space in a bathroom is often underused. Freestanding multi-tiered shelf units designed to fit over toilet tanks turn unused wall area into found storage. Spaces between wall studs create attractive and useful niches for holding soaps and toiletries. Install shelves over towel bars to use blank wall space. Think movable. Inexpensive woven baskets set on the floor are stylish towel holders. A floor stand coat rack holds wet towels, bathrobes, and clothes. And then finally, think utility. Adding a slide-out tray to vanity cabinet compartments provides full access to stored items and prevents lesser-used items from being lost or forgotten. Six, contribute sweat equity. Um, share labor costs by doing some work yourself. Tell your contractor which projects you'll handle so there are no misunderstandings later. Some easy DIY projects include install window and baseboard trim. You'll save about $250. Paint walls and trim. 200 square feet. You'll save about $200. Install toilet. Save $150. Install towel bars and shelves. Save $20 each. And seven, choose low cost design for high visual impact. A soft scheme adds visual zest to your bathroom, but doesn't create a one-of-a-kind look that might scare away future buyers. Soft schemes employ net neutral colors for permanent fixtures and surfaces, then add pizzazz with items that are easily changed, such as shower curtains, window treatments, towels, throw rugs, and wall colors. These relatively low-cost decorative touches provide tons of personality, but are easy to redo whenever you want. Uh, this article was written by John Rhea. He has written several books on home improvement and hundreds of articles on home-related topics. He's been a residential builder, the editorial director of the Black & Decker Home Improvement Library, and the executive editor of Better Homes and Gardens magazine. So, I hope you got some value out of that. Uh, if you'd like to keep your finger on the pulse of real estate in any neighborhood, sign up for Market Snapshot. It's absolutely free and uh, is very easy uh, to use. Um, just click the link that you see on the screen. It's also in the show notes. The live link is in the show notes, so click that. Um, and what happens next? You get an email. In that email, there's a link. You click it. You take it to a map. Houses are plotted on the map. They are color-coded according to their status. Active, under contract, pending, sold. You can drill down into the houses. You can get room dimensions, flooring, you name it. You can also see information on schools nearby, how close they are, student-teacher ratio, school score. And then finally, you can get uh, info on shops, restaurants, you name it, including reviews, uh, pictures, menus, you know, the whole nine yards. If you have any questions about real estate, call me Doug Perry at 312-572-9801 or email me at dperry at propertyconsultants.com. Both my phone number and email address are in the show notes. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love it even more uh, if we can meet.